hey y'all what up this is just that dude and this is just that tv and i am here to talk about base motel season four episode eight unfaithful okay so this episode really wasn't nothing i'm just gonna go through it real quick because it really wasn't shit like to be quite honest like it really wasn't norma and norman wake up in the middle of the night because it's freezing in the motherfucking house and you know they found out that the fucking heat is not working or whatever like that Norman's questioning Norma about the TV and the movies and you know how shit has just changed and she like you know I was lonely you was gone or whatever like that like what the fuck it is what the fuck it is nigga go back to bed so he goes upstairs or whatever like that and he fucking goes in her room or whatever and was like oh I just think that this is cold in here you know we should sleep together to keep warm so Norma you know you can tell she feels kind of a little uncomfortable but she was like okay and he feels the vibe, so he like, uh, what's wrong or whatever. She was like, you know, I just think that it's because, you know, we've been away from each other for so long, you know, it just feels different, but you know, I'm happy that you're back or whatever like this. The next morning she wakes up, she's talking to Romero. She runs to the bathroom, you know, trying to hide that shit from Norman and all this other stuff. So he questioned her, like, when is you gonna tell Norman? She like, you know, I'm gonna tell Norman when the time is right or whatever like that, you know, she don't wanna motherfucking, she really don't wanna tell Norman. So, when they go downstairs for breakfast, you know, he asks about Romero, like, oh, has he been staying here and all this other stuff? And she was just like, you know what, yes, he has been staying here and, you know, he's a good friend. And she was like, you need to thank him for what he's done for us or whatever like that. So, later on, Norman goes down there to Romero's uh, office and he thanks Romero. He says, thank you for all you've done. He's very grateful for it and all this other stuff. But he was like, um, but it's done now. And basically, like, we don't need your motherfucking services. You and my mama need to get a divorce. So, he was like, what are you talking about? Like, no, we're not going to get a divorce. He was like, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to pay for my own insurance. We don't need your insurance. So, you know, that's done deal. It is what the fuck it is. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Basically kicked his ass to the curb. So, Norma comes down there to see Romero or whatever. Romero tells her all of this and was like, you need to tell Norman. Norma feels like she's being pressured by Norman and Romero to, you know, Norman wants her to get rid of Romero. Romero wants her to tell Norman right now, right here, you know, she's just like, I don't feel like doing this. I don't like to be pushed. I don't like to be rushed or whatever like that. I'm going to tell Norman when I feel like telling Norman and that's just that. All I know is that I'm not going to give up on you. And he was like, okay, well tell Norman. So Norma is out. She's buying space heaters and she sees Dylan. She asks Dylan when is he leaving. Dylan says that they're driving up there tomorrow or whatever like that. And she was like, you need to stop by the house to fucking see Norman before you leave or whatever. You know, she kind of spilled the beans on herself that Norman is out. And she was like, you know, what was I supposed to do? Like, he wanted to come home. I couldn't leave him in there or whatever like that. But she was like, you know, come by the house tomorrow. We make dinner and all this other stuff. We can go uh, get a tree, get a Christmas tree or whatever, you know, before y'all leave. Norman would like it or whatever like that. So, fucking Emma and Dylan gets over to Norma's house and Emma was just kind of nervous or whatever like that because she was like it's been a long time things have changed and she don't want things to be weird between her and Norman now that she's dating Dylan so she went up there to talk to Norman and basically Norman was just like you know everything is good everything is cool I like y'all together y'all cute and you know like I'm happy for y'all y'all do you and they kind of like you know ease Gim Emma or whatever like that she was happy I'm about to say Gimma <laughs> she was happy or whatever so they all go out to look for a Christmas tree Norma mad. She and her motherfucking feelings. Uh, she not really saying nothing, but everybody kind of picking up on it because she's slamming shit. She got a little attitude or whatever like that. So Norman checks her and was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? She was like, this is not the time or the place. I'm not, I don't feel like talking about it right now. Like, stop trying to motherfucking pressure me into talking about it. But he like, no, bitch, you gonna talk about this shit today. So, um, he fucking keeps on, keeps on, keeps on, keeps on. And finally she just cracked and she was like, okay, bitch, how dare you go and talk to Romero and tell Romero that we need to get a fucking divorce and all the other bullshit. Like, that wasn't your motherfucking place and like, how dare you do some stuff like that? Well, he was like fucking basically trying to tell her like he did her a fucking favor and all the other stuff and he learned in Pineview that sometimes you have to let others help you to elevate your burdens and all this other stuff. And she was like, but that's not even how it is like I really liked him or whatever like that so like 
you know, Norman couldn't stomach that shit, so he threw the fuck up. <laughs> that was a nice play on words. <laughs> So they get back to the fucking hotel and Norma was like, you know, we need to go downstairs and stay in the hotel because, you know, ain't no heat up in their apartment, in their house or whatever. So she was like, we need to go downstairs for the night and stay in the hotel. So Norma, um, he and his feelings, so he stay in the hotel room by himself. So Norma calls fucking Romero over to let Romero know how the shit went or whatever like that. And, you know, she's kind of sad. She said it was hard for her telling him, but she told him and all this other stuff and he's trying to comfort her and you know make her laugh and all this other stuff and they start kissing and all this other bullshit so Norman heard Romero when he pulled up so Norman goes to the office and fucking takes a knife or something and drills a fucking hole in the wall cause the room that Norm Norman was in was kinda like you know right by the motherfucking office basically like the same motherfucking wall from the back so he drills them up a hole in and he's looking through and he see them about to have sex or whatever they was about to motherfucking do. And I was like, I wonder if he sat there and watched the whole thing. Knowing Norma, nor knowing knowing Norman, <laughs> that's too much. He probably did sit there and watch it. I was like, that's kinda nasty, that's kinda nasty. It's kinda nasty. Norma is in the basement because the man is down there. He fixed the little heater or whatever like that. And Norman comes down there. He was like, I hear you and your husband is about to clean out the basement. And she was like, wouldn't you like that? More space and all this other stuff. Like, stop trying to pick an argument over nothing. Like, it's time for motherfucking growth and it's time for change. And you need to be open to it or whatever. She was like, Romero is coming for dinner. So, bitch, like, stop playing these motherfucking games. This is what it's about to be. So... They sitting down or whatever. They talking. Romero is trying to, you know, make a little small talk with Norman. But Norman is not going. He getting all snappy. You know, he got a little attitude. He's saying a little smart alecky shit or whatever. And uh, Norma kept saying little stuff. But she kept saying we. So Norman was like, we, 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 we. Okay, is this how it's about to be? So Norma was like, yes, we're married. This is how it's about to be. Like, you need to fucking get with it. So Romero was like, it's cool. Like, it, it's, it's no problem, whatever. Like, he's gonna, uh, it's been a two of y'all for the longest. And now it's me here. So it's gonna take him some time to get used to it. So Norma was like, bitch, I'm never gonna get used to it because ain't nothing changing. My mother has tried to motherfucking make it seem like it was just me and her for the whole time or whatever like that. Like, all this time it's just been me and her, me and her, me and her. She has pushed girls away from me. She didn't want me to date nobody, want me to have no girlfriends, always wanted me to be under her. You know, she's been fucking cradling me all this motherfucking time. Made me feel like it was no room for anybody else. Now all of a sudden she got room in her heart for somebody. He was like, hell no, like you are a fucking hypocrite. Like, how can you sit here and say, like, now you have room in your heart when you didn't want me to have room for anybody else so you know he's in his feelings so she hops up and she was like you know what uh we're in love we're married we're going to be together and you need to deal with it so he got mad he storms out he goes in the back and he starts chopping wood with an axe or whatever like that Romero was like let me go out there and talk to him Romero goes out there Romero was like you know what Norman you need to grow up you need to stop acting like a child and you need to grow up for your mother. Your mother is a grown woman and she deserves to have a man in her life. She deserves to be loved or whatever. He was asking like, don't you think that she de deserves to be loved? So Norman, you know, he gets pissed the fuck off and he got the axe in his hand and he walked him towards Romero. Romero was like, back up with that axe, boy. Like, back up for real, for real. Like, you need to back up. So he swings the motherfucking axe, he hits the house or whatever, and he starts just like chopping at the house and it was like a little shed back there. He destroys the little shed or like a cabinet or some whatever the fuck it was. He destroys that. He just chopping at the house. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And fucking storms off in the house. Norma like, what's going on? What happened or whatever? Romero was like, you know what? I'm getting my shit. I'm staying. I'm not leaving you in the motherfucking house with this nigga by yourself. And I was like, Bitch, your best bet is to leave because he might kill you in your motherfucking sleep, to be quite honest. But it is what the fuck it is. But it is what the fuck it is, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this episode. Make sure y'all click the thumbs up button, share this video on all y'all social networks, and click the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all next time.